Dreams do not have a filter that your normal, polite, waking self puts up. Welcome to the hidden meaning of dreams with Sweet Georgia Pam. It does matter what the dreamer themselves associates with those things that come up in the dream. Spiritual director, dream expert, author, and educator, Sweet Georgia Pam is here to remind us that dreams are the answer. They're always with you. They know you better than you know yourself, and they're always trying to tell you the truth. There's some back and forth here between you and some awareness. And now your host, Melissa Carter. Sweet Georgia Pam. I can't sing. SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website that you need to go to. Some free things on there for you for listening to the podcast. Plus, you can DM her on social media. Sweet Georgia Pam. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. And we're also on YouTube. Uh, This is, speaking of TikTok, because I know you're on TikTok. This Mm -hmm. is from TikTok. And this is, look, I'm going to give a shout out because I want to give everybody a shout out who submits their dreams. But user 981678. Okay. Okay. I, I All right. Want, user 981678. I would change that to be a little more vanity, but you know what? You do you. Yeah. Uh, is, okay. And so our user uh, said that last night I dreamt about my three ex husbands. I'm not sure what that means. Dreaming of exes, Pam. Uh, mean? Hooray. And <laughs> three of them in the three. dream. <laughs> Wow. That's layered. <laughs> but I love that she's three ex-husbands. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't, and I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but I'm just saying that uh, user 981678, I want to know how many husbands total you have. Right. Is it three of eight or three exactly. of three or? Okay. Yes. So dreaming of exes is not about getting back together with your ex. <laughs> It does not mean you should then reach out to them the very next day and be like, hey, seems like we're destined to get back together. (laughs) Uh, The universe wants us. No, what happens when you have an ex is an ex anything, an ex spouse or an ex intimate partner or an ex partner, whatever, is that there's some big life learning that you went through during that breakup or during that separation. And when that life lesson comes into play again in your waking life later, it might trigger a dream about your ex, okay? So with breakups, doesn't matter the details of the breakup, doesn't matter who did the breaking up, both people do some deep reflective inner work by default. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's gonna come back to haunt you in your dreams anyway, because then then it'll come back to be like, it's time to do some deep reflective inner work about what you didn't acknowledge right. was happening when that relationship. It's ended. funny how those things keep coming at you. I don't they, know. They're going to keep coming at you. <laughs> yeah. And if you if you refuse to look at your things, at your issues, it, go, it becomes stronger in the unconscious. So it can actually become a more prevalent dream or a more vivid dream experience because you didn't allow your time to reflect on what you learned from that experience in real life. If I were dreamer 981678 and I dreamt of three exes in one dream, it might suggest to me that (laughs) I would want to look at the role I played in all three situations. Okay. Like a common, and a common factor or common what's one. the common factor, right? And how is that pattern, behavior, belief playing an important role in something in my life right now? Because your dreams are going, hey, this is an important lesson we've already reviewed. Well, I mean, we've already learned. Let's review it mm-hmm. so that you can make different choices now. So with dream work, Here's the deal. And this is the deep, true stuff. This is the deep stuff. When somebody shares a dream, they're sharing a deep part of their, like a raw part of their psyche, an unfiltered part of their psyche. And so when I do dream work, I always step in as if it were mine. And then I own what I say about it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that this particular individual needs to do this, that, or the other. I'm saying, if this were my experience, here's how I would take it. Mm -hmm. I would say, oh, all three of these exes are in a dream. 
So I, the dreamer, look like the common factor here. So what is it I'm not seeing about all of these three situations that's important in my life right now? This is especially true with dream work. The dreamer is the only person that can interpret their dream. People do not want to hear that because they have no idea how to interpret their dreams. Right. It's this like a little bit of a catch 22 where I'm going to, as the dream ex expert is a dream interpreter, I'm going to tell you all the things I would look at if it were my experience. Mm -hmm. And then you as the dreamer get to listen and go, oh, well, that rings true. That doesn't, that rings true that I, wow, it's interesting. You said that because that lines up for me mm -hmm. or it doesn't line up for me. So the dream work process is not about me telling 981678 what this dream means for them. It's about me exploring what it would mean if it were mine. If you want to do the dream work, then you have to understand that you are the final say mm -hmm. in what it means, mm -hmm. right? And for a lot of people, like you said, there may be confusion on how to interpret it, but Sometimes your dreams are trying to take you deep. And for people who aren't used to going deep, it, there's a responsibility there that you need to, especially if this dream keeps happening, right? Mm -hmm. The other takeaway, again, is the fact that dreaming about exes is more symbolic than actual. So it's than not literal. something yes. than literal that you shouldn't. Yes. <laughs> you shouldn't either get hopeful or panicked when <laughs> it, a dream or when an ex comes in your dream. Yeah, it is telling you something. <laughs> But it's not telling you the thing that you might think it's telling you when you wake up. Right. Yes. Right. My thought is always, oh, my God, I still have feelings for them. Do I still have feelings? Yes. For them? That's what I always yes. wake up thinking with yes. dread, like, oh, no, if I not let this go. Yes. But there's something within that situation or something they've triggered yes. or, or that triggered them in the dream, rather, that I haven't let go. Obviously, Right. Now, the there's something else, too, that is really important to address, because this also all, always comes up when people dream of exes and that is, are they going through something in their life that I'm picking up on? Okay. Am I supposed to call them? Are they okay? Or mm -hmm. are they thinking about me? Do they want to get back together with me and whatever feelings that brings up? Yay or nay. I want to talk about this. Oh yeah, I do. We're going there. Okay. I want to talk about the possibility of our, unconscious minds communicating with each other, the okay. interconnectedness of all of it, the okay. oneness of all of us, right. Mm -hmm. Of m my grandmother going to the hospital and me suddenly waking up in the middle of the night going, what happened right. to totally disconnected, separate individuals experiencing something together. This goes back to you, the dreamer, know the dream you experienced it. I didn't. So you're going to bring some of your experience or some of your opinion with you into dream interpretation or into the work that we do together. And if for you, it is true that I dreamt about Steve and I believe that Steve needs me to reach out, reach out. Your dreams are from you. They're mm -hmm. to you and they're for you. All I want you to do is give them a little bit more credit than just being literal, that makes but they, sense. they can have that psychic component. They can have that prophetic component to them, but don't get drawn in or don't be afraid of what they mean. Don't get drawn into like, oh, now we have to get back together because my dream, you know, they're not, they don't have that much power. They're just telling you a version of something that's going on. I did wake up in college in the middle of the night with like, what, who's in the room when my grandmother died. So it's weird. You said you that. Did. I, I <gasps> did. I really did. I knew that. It, it, wow. yeah, it was strange. Very strange. Wow. Yeah. And she yeah. and I didn't have a lot of contact with each other. So it's not like she was my best friend. It was, yeah. you know, but I remember thinking, yeah. okay, that's, that's sacred and special. So I appreciate, you know, whatever that was that I yeah. connected to her death. But anyway, yeah, yeah. that's another that's another story for another time. Sweet we Georgia from exes to grandmas today. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website where you can find out all about Pam. You can sign up for a newsletter. You can uh, sign up for sessions. And 
Six Nights to Better Dream Recall. That's a free downloadable guide that she has for you there at SweetGeorgiaPam.com. Also, social media, she's everywhere. Sweet Georgia Pam, user 98167. I should have given you a nickname. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to reach out to you and say, we need to change that name. I'm just kidding. No judgment. It's a judgment. <laughs> YouTube, if you're watching, you can leave a description in the comments of your dream and we might use it on a future show. So Pam, thank you so much as usual. Absolutely. Sweet dreams, everybody. The content in this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Pam Muller is not a licensed mental health professional. If you or someone you know suffers from severe, persistent nightmares, please seek medical help.